Deep in the heartlands of Gujarat, in Banaspada, in Saurashtra, in Tharad, nomadic tribes still roam. Sixty years after independence, these tribes still have no land to call their own. No water supply, no electricity, no ration cards, no voter IDs. In this heart of darkness, Mithal Patel's VSSM is bringing the light of literacy through the 10 school program. When we started working with the nomadic and denotified tribes and visiting their settlements, when we used to talk about studies and literacy and learning, we realized that not many people were educated at all. The kids of the community were like their parents as well. They used to roam from one village to another. They couldn't even sit still for one hour at a stretch. In their villages, there were no facilities for water, so they couldn't bathe. And because of the extreme poverty, they didn't even have any fresh clothes. So there was no concept in these children about getting ready, being dressed well, and looking clean for school. So when they used to go to the government schools or the ashram schools, they couldn't fit in and they were ill-treated. So that's when I came up with this idea. I thought that if I started schools in the settlements where these tribes spent their monsoon months, it would be very beneficial to the children. At that time, there was no tent school or any sort of structure at all. The main idea behind these schools was to help teach these children how to behave in a mainstream school, how to talk, how to sit, how to behave. In fact, the biggest difficulty we had was trying to teach these children how to sit still for half an hour at a stretch. Six years and 31 schools later, the children have learned how to sit still. When the 10 school program started, it used to be so awkward. The children refused to come to school, they refused to sit, and they used to be scared of us. Slowly, slowly, changes have happened. Each school day begins with a prayer, bhajan, and dohes. Then it's on to the lessons. The children learn to read and write Gujarati, ensuring that they will never be like their parents at a loss when it comes to filling out government forms or voting in elections. Basic math is also taught 1 to 100, addition and subtraction, multiplication and division. Children are given meals at midday to ensure good health and nutrition as well as providing an added incentive to come to school. Mittal Patel breaks down barriers in the settlements she visits, convincing parents that education is extremely important. When we started the 10 schools, parents didn't have any confidence in their children that they could learn to read or write. Now, they are all so impressed and happy. There was a parent by the name of Mafat Lal who was standing at a bus stop with his son. Many buses were passing by and he kept asking passerbys which bus it was. Finally, a bus passed and his son told him, this is the one that's going to take us to our mama's house. Shocked Mafat Lal asked the people around him whether the bus would indeed take them to their intended destination. And it turned out his son was right. It was then that Mafat Lal realized with tears in his eyes that his son could read and write. He was the first person in the family to be literate. After spending some time in the communities, we realized that it was time for us to take a greater step in making sure that girls were educated. Today, girls are saying that no, we don't want to get married early. We want to study. And after studying, we want to become teachers. We want to become doctors. All over the country, people are working for women's literacy. Girls should be made to go to school.
the future is going to be for these girls only. I have a dream that these kids will all graduate and they'll be able to get great jobs. Whatever it takes to get them to this level, I'm ready to do it. Chandra from Wadia village is one of the 10 school's biggest success stories. If you want to achieve something in life, the only way to do it is to study. You know how I was managed to escape this poverty? By studying. That's the only way. Now even these kids have dreams. Some of them want to become doctors, some of them want to become teachers. Their small lies have seen big dreams. I can proudly say that the 10 schools we started 4 years ago have shown excellent results. The only issue we have is that of funding. See, the problem is that if we start a school for one year and then stop it after that and these kids join mainstream school, all our effort will go to waste because these kids will simply drop out. They just aren't ready. We try to run each and every 10 school for 5-7 to seven years so that we have more than enough time to prepare these children for success in mainstream education. That's why we have started this program for adopting schools so that individual donors can adopt one school for 5-7 to seven years and pay 1 lakh per year to support the school.